Hello, and welcome to this detailed guide. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to use slow DNS config files on three different VPNs, HTTP Custom, SOC SIP Tunnel, and Dark Tunnel VPN. If you're interested in UDP config files, make sure to check out my other video that covers how to set them up on both HTTP Custom and SOC SIP Tunnel VPNs. Now, let's get started step-by-step step for an easy and clear understanding. Step one, downloading the config files. To begin, you'll first need to download the necessary slow DNS config files. Open your browser, either Chrome or Firefox, and in the search bar type slow DNS config files and press enter. From the search results, locate and click on the UDP custom website. This site is where you will download the configuration files for the VPNs. Once on the home page, look for the menu button in the top right corner of the page and click on it. A drop down will appear. Select the Slow DNS Configs option. From the submenu, you will see different options for slow DNS config files, including HTTP Custom, SOC SIP Tunnel, and Dark Tunnel VPN. Download the config files for each VPN one by one by clicking on the respective links. These files will be saved in your downloads folder. Let's start by downloading the HTTP custom configs. Tap on the HTTP custom slow DNS files, and from the list of available configs, choose any file and tap to download it. The file will download within a few seconds and be saved in your device's downloads folder for later use. Next, return to the home page and this time tap on the SOC SIP Tunnel Slow DNS Configs from the same Slow DNS Config menu. On the next page, select any file you want to download. It will also download in a few seconds and be saved in the Downloads folder on your device. For Dark Tunnel VPN, tap on the Dark Tunnel Config option, then choose any file from the list to download. Like the previous steps, it will download quickly and be saved to the Downloads folder. Once all the necessary files are downloaded, we can proceed to the next step, setting them up in the respective VPNs. Step 2. HTTP Custom Configs Once you have downloaded the necessary config files, let's start with HTTP Custom VPN. If you don't already have the app, head to the Play Store, search for HTTP Custom VPN, and download it. After installation, launch the app. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a plus icon. Tap on it. From the options, select Open Config, and this will direct you to your file explorer. Go to the Downloads folder where you save the HTTP Custom Slow DNS config file and select it. The file will automatically import and you'll be ready to connect. Step 3. SOC SIP Tunnel Configs Next, let's move on to SOC SIP Tunnel VPN. If you don't have it installed yet, open the Play Store, search for SOC SIP Tunnel VPN, and download it. Once installed, launch the app. At the top right corner of the SOC SIP tunnel interface, you'll notice three dots. Tap on them to open the menu. Choose the Import Export option and then select Import. Navigate back to your Downloads folder, find the SOC SIP tunnel slow DNS config file you downloaded earlier and select it. The file will be imported into SOC SIP tunnel and now you're set to connect. Step four, Dark Tunnel VPN configs. Finally, we have Dark Tunnel VPN, Head to the Play Store and download Dark Tunnel VPN if you don't already have it. After the installation is complete, launch the app. On the home page, you'll again find three dots at the top right corner. Tap on them and a menu will appear. Choose the Import option to begin. Just like the previous VPNs, navigate to your Downloads folder, find the Dark Tunnel Slow DNS config file and import it into the app. Once the import is complete, you can now use Dark Tunnel for secure browsing. Conclusion. Now that you've successfully downloaded and imported the slow DNS config files into HTTP Custom, SOC SIP Tunnel, and Dark Tunnel VPN, you're ready to enjoy fast, secure browsing with any of these VPNs. If you need more guidance or details, make sure to check out my blog and subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.